plug the power lead into the printer. Then press the power button. The screen is adjustable. Pull down this cover to insert the ink cartridges. Put the correct colour in the correct slot. Push and it will click into place. Then close the lid. We're going to start with the A4 paper. Insert into the tray. Pull in the blue toggles to size. And slide tray back into the printer. Slide out the tray that holds the paper. Now we need to connect the printer to the Wi-Fi router. Go onto the settings, go onto network, then Wi-Fi settings, and Wi-Fi setup wizard. Put in your router name and password to connect the printer with your router. If printing off your PC, print what you need to, select A4 paper. You can print on both sides if needed and press print. This will then print wirelessly or you can plug in the lead and plug into your PC if you'd like to. There's also a HP Smart app you can download for your phone, but you don't have to have it. Now we're going to print off of our phone. Find a document to print. Select the HP Office Pro 7720. This will also print wirelessly. Now we're going to print A3. Take the A4 paper out. Extend the blue toggles. Press the blue toggle in the bottom right and extend the tray. This allows the A3 paper to fit inside. Here you can see the difference in size. Slot in your A3 paper and pull in the blue toggles. Slide the tray back into the printer. The tray will stick out a bit further than before. It's to allow space for the A3 paper. I go back to my PC to print an A3 adjusting from A4 to A3 in the settings. In A3 you won't be able to print on both sides. If you try, the printer will say that you can't and it will print it out into two sheets of paper. Or untick the box on your PC. A4 will print double sided and A3 will print single sided. As shown here. Now we're going to copy some paper from the scanner on the top. Once paper is put in place, the printer recognises there's paper and gets ready to print. Here you can lay in multiple sheets of paper to be scanned and copied. We also place paper into the photocopier to try it this way, which this time I'll email it to my email address. Select document or photo.
This is the PDF into my email. Here's more specifics of the printer. Now we'll have a look at some settings and options on the printer. You can also download the HP Smart app for your printer. Go on this website for all troubleshooting, manuals, other information, how to and setup. I'll leave the link in the description below. Here there's plenty of documents to have a look at. You can also speak to a virtual assistant. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Click on the links below in the description.